If you're on social media, chances are you've seen these videos all over your For You page. I'm pretty sure I'm getting laid off today. Job cuts, no matter the industry, can be found all over the headlines. So, to avoid being just another one of the more than 160,000 layoffs this year alone, Gen Z and millennials found a little hack, calling it quits on the private sector and going public. Many looking to lock down government jobs for security. Public service was something I always wanted to do besides the benefits, but also one of the reasons is because you were not going to get laid off versus private sector. 77% of the class of 2024 say they're more likely to apply to a job that promises stability. And that's what a government job offers. We have to have a government. If we don't, our society is in trouble and our democracy as well. So it's not that your jobs are forever necessarily but certainly the organization is there. Salaried workers in the public sector hold their jobs for three more years on average than in private. And the younger generation is beginning to notice. Hashtag government jobs on TikTok has more than 23 million views. We need to start applying to jobs with the federal government. On a popular career site for college kids, federal jobs receive twice as many applications. The paycheck is probably smaller. On average, federal workers earned about 22% less than private sector workers with similar roles. But for many, the benefits are the selling point. Good health insurance, retiring early with a pension. Plus, after a decade, student loans are wiped clean for many. That's a perk nearly 70% say will influence their decisions. And of course, there's the work-life balance. You do your job nine to five and then you can enjoy your life after work and do what you want to do. But right now, less than 8% of federal workers are younger than 30 and nearly half are over 50. The challenge, though, is that the leaders in government don't often prioritize creating the opportunities for young people, ensuring that, that the managers know how to manage uh, Gen Z and millennials. And, and making sure the process itself is not overly onerous. Tamayo says the long process can be a big turnoff. I tell them that it's going to take a minute, and when they say, what do you mean a minute? I'm like, five to six months. They get very discouraged by it. But for him, it's worth it. You just have to be patient because at the end of the day, you're going to get a secure job where you're not going to get laid off. All right, let's bring in Julie Serkin, who has more on this. You know, government jobs, kind of a hot-button issue, right, up there on the Hill. How does politics play into all of this? Of course it does, Tom. It definitely is a hot-button issue. And right now, under President Biden, certainly working for the government might sound like a good idea. This jobs report you were talking about that came out today, 52,000 of those jobs were government jobs. That's about consistent with the monthly average we've seen over the last year. But here's the thing. Former President Donald Trump, who is likely going to be the Republican nominee for president facing off against Biden, he's promising to slash government jobs, slash government spending. That's something you see Republicans Republicans up here hammering Democrats about constantly. Right now, actually, the Senate is passing the government funding bills. Uh, this is an area in which Republicans are constantly saying, let's spend less, therefore potentially shrinking the amount of jobs in the government workforce in that space. And so certainly you could see a change happen when it comes to the November election. But so far, you heard Brandon Tamayo say this is an industry that he is looking to join in terms of the public sector. You saw those videos on TikTok. Certainly young kids especially, they're looking for that and security that public sector jobs can offer. By the way, there's some irony here, right? Uh, the, the kids are, uh, the young people are on TikTok because they want a government job, and yet the government is trying to shut down TikTok. Has anybody That's caught true. that cycle? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's Julie, a good point, Tom. <laughs> thank you very much, Julie Serkin. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.